afternoon friends i am back again but this time the three books that i'll show you are from optimization one algorithms for current convex optimization two introduction to continuous optimization by a large number of authors all from sweden stockholm royal technological university and a very very recent book by Roger Wetz and uh, Roy said George Johannes or Roy said and Roger Wetz and this is a very unique kind of book which I'll speak about as I talk to you the first book is on algorithms for convex optimization a book necessary for anybody doing research in optimization and computer science especially machine learning written by Nishit K Vishnu your VL I, I happen to know him personally he is actually a native of Kanpur and uh, he was i had gone to his department when he was in uh, lausanne near geneva in epfl and he does a quite quite a brave research and has a lot of uh, interest in uh, the complexity analysis of optimization algorithms especially the convex one here there's a huge amount of stuff in this book it's published by cambridge university press huge amount of stuff means it's it's uh, uh, basically tries to even use uh, talk about how can you do relaxation convex relaxation of discrete mathematics uh, problems and really solve them so it is the first chapter is bridging the continuous and the discrete it has preliminaries it talks about convexity convex optimization efficiency duality and optimality where you have KKT conditions it talks about gradient descent gradient descent is now at the top and one good thing is that he does a deeper analysis of the uh, you know nestor of accelerated gradient descent where you speed up the whole uh, thing and he also speaks about uh, mirror descent method using Bragman functions a kind of uh, distant function that we use instead of the norm there's a whole chapter on accelerated gradient descent there are interpol methods for linear programming the variance of interior problem methods for linear programming where it talks about self-concordant functions. Self-concordant functions were uh, actually introduced by Nesterov and Nemirovsky. So you know in Newton's method what happens unless you are not actually your starting point is very near the real solution. You may not be moving towards the solution. You may be going out somewhere. You may be di you diverging off. You may not converge towards the solution. But that problem is taken care if the function has a property of self con concordance obviously these are talking only about convex functions so that's a very very important thing a lot of things about Newton uh, this uh, interior point method depends on self concordance functions so it talks about ellipsoidal method for linear programming ellipsoidal method for convex optimization and that's it so it's a very very broad book taking not very broad I would say but a very very deep book which has which has taken a few important aspects of convex optimization and dealt with them very deeply with the complexity iteration complexity number of steps or functional complex number of steps you need to reach an approximate solution or functional complexity number of computations or steps that you need to compute to reach an approximate solution that has been studied deeply in this book those who are uh, graduate students doing a phd in optimization this book an introduction to continuous optimization published by dover is a very important it's a third edition which is published by dover i had a old second edition copy its original writers were three writers Nik nicholas andreason anton f grafoff and with michael patrickson michael patrickson is possibly the most famous optimizer out of sweden at this moment then they said with maybe these are all students or research assistants Emil Gustafsson, Juzana Nedelkova, King Chuing Shu, Magnus Ohenheim. So these might be just helping them to retype or do the changes and that kind of thing. So this book is a beautiful book to get yourself up to date with a lot of things about optimization. Learn optimization if you come from a different area of mathematics and you are suddenly interested in optimization and you want to learn about it. This is a good book to start. I recommend this highly. It has um, the, the contents are very unique. 
uh, of course my favorite would always be Bazaraya Sekti and Sheradi from which I learned and many many optimizers learned but these are very modern book which I, I, I prefer to also recommend to students like it has modeling and classification optimization problem fundamentals it gives you the basic algebraic and linear algebraic and analytic things you need it talks about convex analysis in slight details with the tools that you need to understand optimization it talks about optimality conditions and in optimality conditions he first gives an introduction then they give a detailed uh, analysis talks about lagrangian duality then gives a detailed story about linear programming and then the whole part on algorithm so there are actually five parts of this book uh, and in algorithm he talks about unconstrained optimization and constant optimization feasible direction methods like they have talked about frank wolf algorithm and all those things and then also penalty method and barrier method and this kind of things which lead to many other kind of uh, algorithms in the sense barrier method is the tool key tool which leads to interior point methods for linear programming so there's a lot and lot to learn from this book and it's a very strongly uh, it's a well written book the proofs are clearly given that is a plus point all the convergence analysis of theorems are clearly given you can just have a look and the writing and the typing is very clear there's no uh, unnecessarily complicated symbol i hate complicated symbols is the symbols have to be simple so that people anybody can just look at it in immediately understand what the author wants to say if you have a complicated symbol i am almost most of the time worried about okay what does this symbol mean i have to go back and forth and try to see it and that's you know stops the readability and that breaks the readability one should be able to you know just able to read through there are certain standardizations of symbols in mathematics so that is why this book is recommended now before i go to lunch an optimization primer if you think that you are a new student of optimization a graduate student a phd student and you would like to learn from this book i would say yes you can take it as a second reading after you have read for example the book or earlier one i have uh, said this book is by springer published this year Roy Set and Roger B. Wits. Roger B. Wits is very famous. He had a book with famous stochastic optimizer. Has a book with uh, Rockefeller. Roy Set has a lot of work with Rockefeller. This book is a primer, essentially about stochastic optimization and modern methods of optimization, modern theories for the classical optimizer who doesn't do stochastic optimization. For example, I can call myself a classical optimizer who doesn't study stochastic optimization. So this book has a huge emphasis on the optimization under uncertainty. So it is an optimization primer for those classical optimizers who want to learn stochastic optimization. Of course, as a, for a PhD student, this could be a very good second reading, but I will not call tell that this should be a first reading of the book. No, there is. no chance because if you look at the uh chapters prelude uh, he talks in very fast in the chapters he gives you what is the meaning of data smoothing optimization and un uncertainty convex analysis estimation and classification gradient descent newton's method acceleration and regularization quasi newton method coordinate descent algorithm which are direct search methods so you have talked about very things which an optim uh, a well trained optimizer should be know knowing that you tell in the first chapter basically you are giving an optimizer a kind of overview of what he possibly has an idea of then there is a detail and convex um, story about convex optimization third chapter immediately is optimization under uncertainty and that what finally is the key thing that goes through the whole thing whole book he talks about minimization problem perturbation and duality he introduces a new term rockefellian to match with lagrangian so to in honor of the great uh, ralph tyrell rockefeller the one of the, great, the one of the greatest optimizers who has ever walked on the surface of this earth so he there's a chapter which has a strange name chapter 6 without convexity or smoothness what kind of for example 
DC programming, difference of two convex functions. That is not a convex function. Generalized equations, which is a pretty advanced thing. It is known to researchers who actually work on this. Variation inequalities can be viewed as generalized equation. These are basically how to solve optimality condition, get critical points, right? I am now speaking to people who actually have some understanding of optimization. Then he talks about risk modeling and sample averages. So he can go into the financial aspects. So he can go into the stochastic aspect. Then he again goes to game theory and application to game theory. And then he has used two things called lopsided convergence, lopsided approximation algorithms. I have met Roger, Roger Waits long back in um, Limoges in France where he came for um, a talk and I, my, I was visiting uh, the great and uh, famous um, Professor Michel Thera, a French uh, optimizer, and I, he had uh, kindly invited me to lunch along with he um, himself and Roger Waits. And I was very surprised that Roger Waits, though the thing was in English, mother, his slides, he spoke in French. And so it is his uh, app, um, contribution to game theory which he wants to speak about. Then they talk about decomposition and how decomposition helps uh, how to structure down very complex optimization problems. But this book is not for the beginner. Please understand, I can show you a new book, 2022, not for the beginner. It is for a seasoned optimizer who works in different area. For example, I work in largely bi-level programming or variation inequalities. For them to look into other parts of optimization which may help them, may they, they may get some idea by reading this book like stochastic optimization on, or how how deeply set valued analysis can be used. Set valued analysis means um, analysis of set valued maps means things which maps a point to a set. They are, they are not functions but certain correspondences which takes a point and maps it to a set, not a point to a point. So these kind of things are not, these are very advanced optimization which is there in the book. Sometimes they write optimization primer because they felt, felt feel, sorry, not felt, they feel that this is a primer for them. But please understand, please don't get, get swayed by these names. Oh, primer, I'll just go out and read it. No, 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 it, it, it needs a lot of training in optimization to actually understand this book. Even if Roger Wetz comes and tells me, no, Jody, you are mistaken. Anybody can read this book. I don't agree with him. So my own experience in optimization for more than 24 years now, I, and after my PhD, I'm considering 24 years, I would say that no, it cannot be read by, it has to be read by seasoned optimization researchers. So with this, I take your permission go for lunch and before that let me tell you tell me tell you that i will introduce something very exciting and interesting during my the, the corona period i wrote three letters mathematical letters to my own younger brother's son in uk and scanned them and sent it to him uh, so maybe one letter every two weeks they were largely related to Pythagoras theorem. So these were mathematical letters to my nephew. But now I think that it's time has come that I should be able to discuss these letters to with everyone, to all my viewers. Maybe there are some unknown, unrelated nephews, little kids who are reading class 9th or 10th standard or even beyond. Uh, doesn't matter even if you are a already have a degree in mathematics can actually enjoy them so our next program would be those letters three letters in three different sessions and then again will be followed by discussion of books so a lot of programs coming up my friends keep yourself tuned in ask your friends to subscribe Please understand, my watch hours is just 1500 something, 70 maybe. I need to go to 4000 to monetize. But monetizing is not the issue here. 
my issue is to reach as many as youngsters as po possible to get them excited about mathematics in this in this current scenario of the world filled with so much issues mathematics is a soothing thing it takes you to a fan dream world you might say a fantasy world but a beautiful world and tells you that nature can be understood by understanding mathematics and and mathematics by itself has so much beauty in it then that uh, you can actually spend hours and hours enjoying it without getting bogged down by your daily issues of course we will get the bogged down by daily issues but take off some time and do some mathematics your life would actually look better my channel is for all those who love mathematics all those who hate mathematics i do not know whether i can i can give them any lessons but all those who love mathematics can increase their love who are at the boundary they were looking whether they would like to see more about mathematics are most welcome here so do subscribe just like any other youtuber i am now telling do subscribe my channel and help me grow so that i can make this venture into a bigger one in the future thank you it's lunch time for me i'm sure for you and i'll continue doing these videos after lunch too thank you and goodbye